Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking digital background effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine at a duration of about 15 seconds and just press OK. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to create the background first. So what we are going to do is we are going to start off with a new solid and I'm just going to call this uh, BG and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called four color gradient and now once I have this all I have to do is go to color hunt and change these colors so here I am in color hunt and I'm going for this dark purple color scheme so all I have to do is import these colors into After Effects cool so now once you have that the next thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to bring this down a little bit we need to animate this so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of the composition because this is where I want the final resting point to be of all these colors. Maybe I'll just move them in uh, slightly. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the uh, stopwatches for all of these points. And then I'm going to move to the start of the composition and I'm just going to drag them off the screen. Just something like that. So now if you've done that correctly, you will see that they will start to come in and it will kind of change a few things. So we only want a small amount of movement. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new adjustment layer and we're going to search for the effect called turbulent displays. And I'm just going to bump up these settings to let's say maybe 300 and also 500. Now you're going to get these weird um, blobs in the middle but that's alright we'll fix that but before we do that we'll alt click or option click on the evolution and we'll add a bit more movement by writing time times 200 and now you can see you've got this real crazy movement happening over here the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to change it to a twist and then what we are going to do is to fix up those brown blobs we're going to search for an effect which is called motion tile so i'm just going to put motion tile on top of turbulent displace and then i'm just going to increase the output height and width to something that makes sure that there are no kind of black dots uh, anywhere in there then the final thing that we need to do is we need to mirror edges and now we've got this cool moving kind of gradient and that's looking good for our background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight both those layers, go to layer pre-compose, and I'm just gonna call that background. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new composition and I'm gonna call this digital background. And we're gonna start from scratch again here. I'm gonna create a new solid and I'm just gonna keep this as a black background. And then once I've got that, I'm gonna create another new solid and I'm gonna call this Fractal. So obviously from the name, we are going to search for the effect called Fractal Noise. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change a few of these settings. I'm gonna bring up the contrast to about 330. I'm gonna bring down the brightness to let's say negative maybe 105. I'm going to decrease the complexity down to about three. And then I'm going to go into my transform settings and I'm just going to go to the scale and just scale it up slightly. So now what we need to do is we need to add some movement to this static page over here. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the evolution settings, make sure that you're on your first keyframe, click the stopwatch and then move to the end of the timeline. And then I'm just going to put in five. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have these cool little things moving around and this is a good starting point for our digital background. The next effect that we have to put on here is called CC Ball Action. So now once I've got CC Ball Action on, I need to change a few settings in here. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to the grid spacing and we're going to bring that up to about 35 and we are going to change the ball size to about 40. And now if you've done that correctly, now you will have these cool like glowing flashing kind of dots going over your you know, composition. And that's looking really cool, but we can make it look a little bit better. So the next thing that we need to do is we just need to change the mode to screen. I'm just going to click screen over there. 
And then what we need to do is we need to add an effect to change the color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the effect called Tritone. And basically we are only gonna be changing the midtones over here. So I'm gonna go back to Color Hunt. And here in Color Hunt, I'm gonna be using maybe a combination of these lighter colors rather than the darker color. So all I'm gonna do is click it and put it back into After Effects. So there's the first color that we have and that's looking pretty cool, but we're gonna change it up a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we are going to duplicate that layer by pressing Command D or Control D. And then I'm gonna just change a few things. So I'm gonna increase the ball size to let's say, maybe this one I'll drop it down to like 30. And I'm also going to change the color. So this time I'm gonna choose this purple and I'm gonna paste it back in there. And so now you've got, you know, you can't really see them because they're on top of each other. So what we're gonna do to change that is we are going to go into our evolution options and we're just going to increase the random seed to some other value. And so now you can see both sets of uh, circles in there. So that's looking pretty cool, but we're gonna keep adding to this. Cool, so now once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is I'm just gonna create a new adjustment layer. And in this adjustment layer, I'm gonna search for the effect called Minimax. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the radius to about six, and that gives it that kind of squarish kind of look. And that's looking pretty cool, but we can make it look even better. So I'm gonna add another new adjustment layer, and I'm gonna search for an effect called Glow. Now, if you have Deep Glow, Deep Glow works really well, but if you don't, you can just use Normal Glow. So I'm just gonna change a few settings here. I'm gonna increase the threshold to about 85, and I'm also going to bring up the radius to about 55% as well. So now once you have that, now you've got a few little glowing items and if you want, you can even duplicate this glow to have even more glow happening over there. So once I'm happy with all that, the next thing that I need to do is highlight all the layers and then go and pre-compose all of them. So this is what I'm gonna call it digital. I'm just gonna press okay. And now we're gonna worry about the movement and the animation with this uh, digital background. Cool, so now once we've made the pre-comp, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a camera. So I'm just gonna right click and go add new camera. I'm just gonna run with a 50 mil camera, press okay. I need to make sure that my digital background layer is a 3D layer, so make sure that you check this box over here. Then I'm gonna press S on that layer and just increase the size to about 150 so I have a bit of room to work with. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press C on my keyboard or I can press this button over here which enables you to orbit around. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a cool camera animation. Just make sure that you don't go outside of the scaled box or you have to scale it up yourself. Once you're ready, you can press P on your keyboard for the position and we're gonna click the stopwatch over there, move to the end of the animation and then I'm just going to rotate it until it's something like that. So now if you preview that, now we've got this cool moving digital animation that's looking something like that. So now that we've got that, the final thing that we can do over here is we can create a new adjustment layer. And in this adjustment layer, we are going to look for camera lens blur. I'm just gonna increase the blur radius to about 30. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the pen tool, make sure that I'm on that adjustment layer. And then I'm going to create a mask that takes a cut of, you know, maybe something like that. You don't have to be perfect here, but um, you can see that inside this mask, it's actually pretty blurry. So what we wanna do is we wanna reverse that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the mask settings over here and change the mask uh, one to subtract and now you can see that this edge is blurry but we're gonna also bring up the mask feather to let's say about 300 and then what you can do is you can just adjust your mask to how you want so I'm just gonna leave it there as like a thin cut that goes through and I think that's looking pretty good cool so now once you have that then the next thing that we need to do is we just need to go back to our project settings and then drag our background to that composition. And then we need to change the blending mode to let's say screen. And now you can see that we have the gradient background also working with the digital background. Now the gradient background is too strong. So we're just going to lower that opacity to about 30. 
So now the final thing that we can do here is we can create another new adjustment layer and then we can search for the effect called noise and we can just bring the noise up to about 6%, something like that. And yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. So that is now creating a cool gradient digital background effect using just the plugins that are in Adobe After Effects. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.